So this one's going to be dedicated to Brittany. Um, when we go ahead and look through this, well, the white girl Thursday thing we got going on. So anyways, um, if we have the square root of 3 times tangent of 3x equals 0, all right? Now, there's a couple of major mistakes that I saw that students, um, I, you know, I wanted to get done before we took our test, but we kind of ran out of time as we were getting to the end of the semester. So I want to make sure we're clear on a couple things. When we're solving, right, that's what we're doing. We're trying to find the values of this triple angle for tangent. But when we're solving, we want to make sure that we can isolate our function. So right now, our tangent function is being multiplied by the square root of 3. It is not being multiplied by 3. Our angle is being multiplied by 3, but not um, our function. So our function is being squared by mul or multiplied by the square root of 3. So I need to isolate that by eliminating it. So I'll divide by the square root of 3 on both sides. That goes to 1. That goes to 0. Now I have the tangent of 3x equals 0. All right. When you guys are using double and half angles and we're solving for them, you cannot divide again this out. I know this makes it easy because it's 0, so your answer wouldn't really change. But or I mean, it will change. But guys, you got to make sure you do not divide out this 3. We have to evaluate for tangent first, and then we can divide it out. So to evaluate for tangent, we got to go back to our lovely unit circle. And we want to see what are the values for tangent when, we, when it equals, or what are the values for our angle when tangent equals 0? Well, right here we have 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, negative 1 comma 0, and 0 comma negative 1. So what you guys can see is, remember, tangent for any angle on the unit circle is y over x, right? So if I take y over x out over any of these, I only notice there's two angles. Sorry, excuse me, the angle of 0 and the angle of pi, right? Those are my two solutions. Now, this problem says find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, correct? So we need to find all of the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So when doing this with a multi-angle, what I recommend is to find all the solutions first. All right. So if I was going to find all the solutions, remember that's with your multiple of r. Let's find all the solutions, and then we'll restrict it to our values of r. So if our first angle is at 0, the next angle is at pi. So if I was going to continue this indefinitely, I could go to the next angle, which would be 2, uh, uh, two pi, then add pi again, 3 pi, add pi again, 4 pi. So therefore, if I wanted to find all of the solutions, even though that's not what it's asking me, if I wanted to find all the solutions, or if the problem asked me for that, I would say 3x equals pi times r. Because if r is 0, then I have that angle right here, which is 0, right? Which is a solution. And if r is 1, then I have pi, which is a solution. And if r is 2, I have 2 pi, which again is a solution. So do you guys see how that's the correct answer if it was all solutions? However, notice we're solving for 3x, not x. So now I would divide by 3. So my answer for all solutions is pi over 3 times r. All right, that, is my, that would be the answer for all solutions. But your um, question did not say find all the solutions. It said find only the solutions that are between 0 and 2 pi. Well, again, let's go back to what if r equals 0. So if I go back to r equals 0, then we know it's equal 0. What about if r equals 1? Then another solution is pi thirds. What about if r equals 2? It's 2 thirds. And is all the, are these angles all within 0 and 2 pi? Yeah, 1 third, 2 thirds. And you guys, then I can just keep on going. Then I can do what if pi thirds times 3? Well, that equals pi. Then I can go, what about if pi, what if r equals 4? Well, that's 4 pi over 3. What if it equals 5? That's 5 pi over 3. And what about if it equals 6? Then that's 2 pi. However, if you look at that, our solution contains the solution 0. It does not contain 2 pi. 
So therefore, that's not going to be within the solution of 0 and 2 pi. All right? We don't include the 2 pi per our solution request. So therefore, all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi of this equation is 0, pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, pi, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Okay. So if you only gave your solutions um, as 0 and pi over 3, you can give yourself an A. Um, if you 